What happened to that map? Where in Tarnation are we? Sense Insanity is gone. So, oh, that was... Oh, okay. I kind of know where we're at. That was wild looking. And now, where are we? Whoa, weird. My sense of sanity is gone. But first we have to talk about parallel universes. This is The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. 100% or the better way of phrasing it is full inventory. There's a subtle difference between 100% and full inventory. This was made by FMP and Yahoo's... I did it again. <laughs> People can make fun of me for this. I always get names wrong. This task was made by FMP and Yuzahara 3 in BizHawk 2.3. Now I'm showing it to you with the emulator version instead of doing console verification for two reasons. First, this was done in BizHawk and we do still have some challenges with synchronizing movies from there without first passing them through the LSNES emulator. And second, because of that minimap. And you're going to need that minimap because in just a second you're going to see a lot of glitching. Things that make absolutely no sense. You're going to see maps that appear to be completely broken. Walls that are only suggestions, yada yada. <laughs> now, it's, it's pretty complicated to explain everything that's going on, and the reality is that I don't run this category, nor do I fully understand it. But let me briefly overlay, overlay or highlight what the categories are. So this is Defeat All Dungeon Bosses, which means all the Light World Pendant... Fi um, all the... Uh, how do I say this? We basically have to defeat all Dungeon Bosses, obtain all the Crystals and Pendants, obtain the final upgrade of all Y items and A items, obtain the final upgrade of all equipment, except for arrow and bomb capacity, obtain half magic, obtain all unique boss heart containers, and all heart pieces. And you have to kill Ganon. Now, it's already pretty crazy. My face is a suggestion. Uh, by the way, as always, this is being recorded for YouTube, so my Twitch chat uh, is appearing in the lower right corner. Uh, be kind, guys. <laughs> be kind. <laughs> So, we did have to restart this because I botched it earlier. I accidentally resized the screen and some other bad things happened. You know, it happens. Um, so, one of the things about this game, I have played Legend of Zelda Rando, but I have never played like this. You can see Link is literally running around outside the walls. That yellow square on the minimap you see on the right is Link's current position. And he's nowhere near inside of bounds. He's completely outside of bounds. Now, this category does allow any glitches except for heart piece or heart container duping. That's the only thing that's been outlawed. So any glitch that you want is, is valid. And you can see Link is just totally wandering around completely out of bounds and warping all over the place to get through this faster. And be kind, rewind. Yes, that does bring back some serious memories. I'm, <laughs> I, have, I have some nostalgia there. Definitely some nostalgia. So, I'm going to watch as best I can, and there's just no way for me to keep up with everything. I'm not even going to try. This this is so busted that I highly recommend you go to the submission notes. And the submission notes can be found... Oh, that was a little bit glitchy. Uh, the submission notes can be found here at this location. There we go. So they are at taskvideos.org slash 6514s.html. And the submission notes were, of course, drawn up by FMP and Yuzahara, if, I, if I'm pronouncing that name correctly. And I highly recommend, if you have any interest in this at all, go read that. Uh, it'll make it a lot more sense than anything I can do. <laughs> I'm just going to generally make a mess of things. Now, uh, I don't believe I'm dropping any frames anymore. I think that was the game completely glitching out like crazy. It's 
right there. Uh, the notes say that those are the only arrows that will be collected in the entire game. That all those ten arrows collected under those pots were everything they'll need for the whole thing. And that was a deliberate death warp. Death warping is allowed. Obviously, that's a strategy that real-time runners use all the time. Uh, this out-of-bounds stuff can be so hard to follow without that mini map. Uh, I do find, though, that it, it can be kind of challenging to figure out like, what the heck is going on here, right? So that one was... Let me see if I can find the notes on how they beat that boss. Yeah, it's hard to follow even with the minimap. I'm not going to lie, this task is so busted. <laughs> um, so in Eastern Palace... Um, Okay, we, sp we spare five of the knights, killing just one, because the other five are off-screen, they're considered dead, so the one guy we did kill is considered the last and drops a heart. Then the camera scroll down to prevent the pendant from getting stuck in the wall. That makes a lot of sense. So here we're at Agraharn, or Harn, no, what's this guy's name? Uh, I always forget this guy's name. <laughs> I've played this game enough, you'd think I'd know. Uh, but collecting the boots, and then a save and quit. Don't touch it. <laughs> Sasharalaharla? I yeah, that that name. I'm I'm not I'm not really sure if that's the right name or not. No idea if that's the right name. Let me move my chat just a little bit so I make sure that you guys can see all of it. There we go. EP boss was on a super tile. Okay. No, not M. Night Shyamalan. That, that's something else. <laughs> Although that's funny. You know, the funny thing about this, this way of glitching, you end up in rooms that you never ever see in normal speedruns. Like, how did we even get here? And there he gets back in at stairs. Yeah, it is oddly... Hang on. I think I know what's going on. Let me reset the... Uh, my, my... Ah, okay. That will fix. There we go. Now my filter chat is correct. See, this, this is a classic Duango stream, right? I'm, I'm, I plan to post this on YouTube, and here I am troubleshooting my, my window size. There we go. One of the things that's a bit of a challenge, too, is that my filtered chat, which, as, as you might have seen, got hacked like crazy, um, kind of tends to scroll up. But nobody wants to hear me talk about my chat. I want to talk about what the heck happened to the palette. Because <laughs> that looked wacky. Yeah, I feel sorry for this poor SNES. It just, it's so confused. And uh, no, Hawk, thank you very much for pointing that out because I didn't actually realize that. So that zipping is just insane. I don't know if that's the actual term they use for it, but man, so many, so many things are just wrong. The the list of detailed glitches and tricks include wobbling and pumping. Teleports, pixel ports, snapping, and zips. Movement mechanics uh, that are that are abused. Damage boosting, pendant crystal catching, key dashing, quick hopping, quick warping, item dashing, which is a JP 1.0 exclusive. Spin speed, super speed, which is a JP 1.0 exclusive. Uh, dash buffering, hovering, rail clipping and pit clipping, and silla tossing, screen wraps, slope jumps, funny auto walk thing, fought, Using items indoors, door juking, door clipping, data spoofing and overriding, Samaria juke, exploitation glitch, camera mechanics abuse, cave state, fake worlds, wrong warping, stair skipping, diagonal stairs, invisa stairs, various frame roll abuse, chest turning, RNG manipulation like you wouldn't believe, prize packs, lag reduction, uh, tricks, the underworld, uh, let's see. 
Yeah, the underworld is <laughs> is really hard to understand. Um, but, but first, we have to talk about parallel universes. Uh, I am thankful to tell you that the word parallel never happens next to the word universe on on the on the submission notes at any point. Point is. I couldn't even begin to tell you. I, I mean, this whole well, this whole run is 52 minutes, 52 seconds long. Like, the whole thing. There is no way... I couldn't even read this whole submission text in that amount of time, I don't think, if I was reading it out loud. <laughs> it's... <laughs> and yeah, yeah, yeah. That text stuck on the screen is really amusing to me. Yeah, we definitely need to eventually get this converted over to LSNES, get an accurized content, a console, and try to console verify it just to see if all of these effects work exactly the same way. Oh, moly. Okay, that is crazy glitchy. I don't even know what that enemy is anymore. And also the fact that he's scrolling off the screen while you're beating him up. Like the wraparound... <laughs> It works. You beat him. So from here on out, I'm going to try to pay a little more attention to where we're going. So the one thing I can say is I, I have played randos enough to know what is happening in the sense of like where we're at for the most part. I have no idea what half of these glitches are. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But I, I will do my best to keep up. And what's really sad about this is this is actually one of the games I know something about. Like, I understand the core mechanics, but... Oh, uh, yeah. And yes, classic SNES explosions. Way over-the-top explosions. And that was one of my favorite sounds ever. That sound, I didn't hear it for maybe 10 years because I didn't have my SNES up and running for... Uh, from about... Mm, I don't know, 2000 till 2010 maybe, and uh, when, when I heard that sound again, it just brought back so many memories. Duango approved sound effects. Yeah, you could say that. So, I'm loving the paint by numbers. By the way, there is a paint by numbers area in the bottom center of the screen. I'll be doing a redraw at the end of this 52 minute run so you can see what people have painted while playing around in chat. And the filtered chat, you can play around with that. Just cheer and with, with a single bit, that's all it takes. And you can do marquee, you can do bold, italics, whatever you like. Uh, it's one bit per effect. So just type a cheer and then the word marquee, for instance, and whatever text you want to affect. Okay, gotta love the signs. I'm not sure what that sign was for. Probably lag reduction. If I had to guess, the reason he picked up that sign was to check it and to reduce lag. That section is super laggy in real time. Yeah, Mario 3's explosions do sound dull in comparison. Not gonna lie. <laughs> so we're here again. This is so good. Now, obviously, now we're in the blind side. So we picked up the key, which was necessary. Okay, normal so far. Uh, all right, that was an interesting little screen wrap. Good use of... I, yeah, every time I play this section, I just wish I could dash like that. Okay, that's disgusting. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, flawless. <laughs> Watching this is really entertaining. Okay, so he's out of bounds-ish. Uh, okay, he switched to bombs as he screen-wrapped, but only made it halfway? Wait. He Okay, he placed the bomb already. That was wild-looking. And now, where are we? We're in Desert Palace? All right, hang on. He's doing multiple... Ow. Okay. 
Um, I know where he's going. I just don't know how he got there. Okay. So, oh, he's got the, uh, the mitt. All right. Ah, now he's back in blind. What the heck is going on? <laughs> Doing two dungeons at the same time is is really messing with me. <laughs> I, I'm not 65% sure that this isn't, isn't how the developers intended you to do this. I am 100% certain the developers never intended this. <laughs> there may be some actual joke to this, this parallel universe. Oh, he managed to not take damage doing that. Okay, now where the heck are we? What, what dungeon are we even in? Okay, well now we're back here. Uh, but where'd we get the cane? And where, when did we pick up the... Okay. All right. All right. That that was Ganon's tower. Okay. But how did we pick up blind? Oh, wait. We, we did pick up blind earlier. I remember that. Okay. I, I have... There's so many questions. <laughs> Too many questions. <laughs> uh, Link, what are you doing? I didn't even know you could scroll that screen. They might have wanted walls to only be suggestions to us. I suppose so. That was still a really tight blind, blind fight right there. And then somehow scrolling the screen to the right to pick up the crystal? Alright. We walked through so many different dungeons doing that that... I'm not entirely keeping up. I, how do you route something this complex? But anyway, um, so while we're in this brief break period, if someone could show the rest of the chat how to use Marquee Effect, that would be helpful. So just type a cheer, the word Marquee, and whatever text you want. It's really cheap, it's only a penny. And you're helping, fun helping funding my upcoming Games Done Quick trips, which is always handy. There you go. So anyone can do that. It only costs a penny. Oh, right. He has to do this. I bet he's going to manipulate it. Okay, heart piece. And he got 100 out of it. Not a bad result. According to all known laws of aviation... There is no way a bee should be able to fly. <laughs> How long is that message? Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. What are you doing? The bee, of course, flies anyway. <laughs> because bees don't care what humans think. Oh, okay, so I know what we're doing here. We're getting the... we're digging. What? Huh? Huh? Oh, weird. That was fast. <laughs> Plus, you could all watch an ad on YouTube. It's, uh, I'm not that desperate, by the way. You don't have to watch an ad on my behalf. Yeah, this and Super Mario World are really great games. Wait, what? Uh, oh. Well, that's one way to do that puzzle. Hey, that was pretty nifty. Okay, that's a lot easier than the normal way, but you still gotta dig, dude. Now, inevitably... What? What? You just... What? What? Okay, that's just disgusting. Is this how you're getting all the money you need? For Zora? Really? Okay, this is sick. And you didn't—you even left one hanging. That's just ah, da. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I think they were just showing off. But showing off that long—I don't know about that. Let me see if if they mention the digging game. Um. Okay, that was glitchy.
I seem to have, uh, I, I seem to have throttled. Hang on. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, CPU temperature, CPU core tem temperature above normal. Okay, here, now we're back to normal. There we go. <laughs> okay. There we go. That should be all right. There for a bit, it was, uh, it was glitching a little too hard. Uh, my, well, I'm running on a laptop, guys. I'm running in the field. So I am traveling to MAGFest and Games Done Quick as of the recording of this particular uh, run. And I, therefore, I'm on my laptop instead of my normal desktop. So everything is just a little bit more squeezy trying to get everything to work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm pushing my processor so hard that uh, I just saw a message that said this. Let's see. If I'm sorry, let's see. I'll show you. Here's what the, the message said. Yeah. <laughs> Package temperature above threshold. CPU clock throttled. <laughs> and it just happened again. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it's a thing. There's not much I can do about it. I've got my laptop um, dissipating heat as quickly as I can. There we go. <laughs> I definitely don't want to melt my computer. I'm wondering if the marquee is uh, is part of the problem. <laughs> Wouldn't that be unfortunate? Wh what does top say, by the way? So top says I have a load average of six, which is not great. Uh, and OBS says that I have dropped zero frames, but I know better than that because I saw it get a little bit glitchy, so uh, I'm, I'm assuming that I did drop a few frames. <laughs> but that's okay. I am going to just sit here and enjoy this chat. Make this a little smaller. What happened to the sword? I actually don't know. I uh, I don't honestly know. Okay, so where are we now? I haven't been. I, I th this is classic. I'm not following. Okay. What the heck did you just do? Fake magic glitch? No. Nope. Wait. Where are you? Whoa. I don't know which dungeon we're in. And what item was that that we just picked up? Oh my goodness, that's fast. <laughs> uh, okay, that was the Ice Rod Cave. Yeah, you're right, that was. I know, I, I, yeah, I have so many questions and I'm doing the best I can to keep up. <laughs> okay, grab the chest. What? What? Wait, he's going to take the chest with him? Apparently. Okay, well, we're at least in the magic area. I'm sorry, the half magic area. So it looks like he's... Well, he does have the actual... Mushroom. Okay, so here's where we get half magic. Ah, two frames after hookshotting, you can also dash to the chest follows. Usually the chest gets lost. Is the chest still there? Wow, that looked cool. Okay, chest is still there. Okay. Wait, why is he taking his chest? Okay, he just ditched the chest. And then, what? Okay, apparently he had to... Um... <laughs> oh, he had to leave and come back so he could get the... Uh, the potion. Uh... All right, I'm, I'm mostly following. Oh, wow, that was really tight. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly following. That's a very interesting route. Well, he definitely took the chest on a magical adventure. <laughs> All right, well, we got rid of that. Now, wait a minute, where is he now? He just switched screens and used the... 
flute. But does that mean the flute effect apparently never happened? Okay, well, we got the medallion. I'm just not entirely sure how he managed to flute his way up that wall, though. Okay, that's busted. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that was really broken. I'd love to see what that looks like <laughs> again. Uh, yeah. I, I need to run through this and pause it and look at some of these screens. So the nice thing about seeing this for the very first time, you get to see all kinds of silliness, like see me going, what on earth is going on? But I'm really struggling to keep up. I'm enjoying this ride, though. Okay. Let's see how normal this is. He's definitely got a bomb. Okay. Normal so far. Save and quit out. Alright, that makes sense. Based on how he's been watching. Yeah, watching this run feels like you're having a stroke. I can understand that. Alright, well, old man, exit. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Okay, now we're here. And we're totally ignoring all of the... Sure. Fine, let's let's just get to it this way. <laughs> oh, so disgusting. Now, I think we were here earlier because we got the item. Oh, God. we're not even visible. And he's got the hook shot. Uh, he's using the hookshot for a reason. Right now. Uh, Coburn, I don't want my PC speaker be beaten that much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's th what he thinks of all this. He probably thinks it's pretty crazy. Yeah, probably just swag. Swag percent. Okay, we're running way off the top of the map. Oh, hey, look, we collected a heart piece. <laughs> I, I'm still not entirely sure how we got the cane. I, I missed that somehow. <laughs> okay, well, you're getting this normal. What? But you didn't even use the... Oh, and now we're here. Sure. I guess there's puddles in the clouds. I'm, I'm, I think you're right about that. Uh, uh, right. Whoa. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping up. I'm keeping up. No keys. Right. Okay. And now we're... There's Mothula. <laughs> okay. That was disgusting. I have never had a fight go that smoothly. He just barely had enough room to get that crystal. <laughs> okay, my brain is melting. If it wasn't for these headphones, I'd probably have my brain melting out of my ears. <laughs> this is wild. I blinked. I, yeah, I blinked. Oh my goodness. This is just really, really hard to follow. So one thing I do know... Uh, I'm, I'm never playing this game like this. <laughs> because this is so busted. Oops, I still have top running. Uh, my load average is down to 5.47, so that's a good thing. I was definitely uh, pushing it too far there for a while. I hate those rolling cabbages. Don't you? Okay, so... Off the screen again. Uh... Why? Wait... What did he gain out of that? 
Out of everything he just did, what did he gain? Hmm. I don't know what he got out of that. I'd have to read the notes. Cabbage merchant. My cabbages. Oh, and we're inside the door. Hey, that's brilliant. So that was some kind of backward warp? I guess? This is really hard to keep up with. Okay. So that's uh, arrows. Hmm? Wait. Threw the sword in and used the flute at the same time. Okay. Got butter sword. Yeah, that is that is a fairy that, that Ganon made fat. Now this is just breaking my brain. I guess we're gonna go to Agarharna Harnaharm now. Yep. <laughs> oh, whoa. Um, okay, that's a unique way to get there. Yeah, I guess that's one way to phrase it, Aaron. I am impressed by the items they've been forced. What happened to that map? Where in Tarnation are we? Okay, even the mini-map doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> um, I don't hear any sound. Um, wh Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> this is so busted. <laughs> Please do watch your language as this is going on Twitch, and it makes my editor have to blink things out, and he doesn't like having to do that. Um, <laughs> somebody mark a timestamp so that we can get that, that language cleared off. Thanks. Um, whoa, that tile set is messed. This stage is called Plaid. Oh, so busted. I don't even know which dungeon this is anymore, and the background music is hosed. Wait, what? Wait, oh, it's this. Oh, sure? Okay. Yeah, that's that's pretty glitchy. And that's just disgusting. This seems fine. You know, it's okay. Wait, he picked up a medallion? But did he get everything? I guess. He must have. But isn't there a pendant he needs? I didn't see the... Okay, I guess the pendant pickup happens later, maybe? <laughs> it's very, very confusing. <laughs> well, we're back to some kind of sanity. Okay, we're doing this bo boss fight now, I guess. Um... Oh, and then there's that. We saw that earlier. What? Ah, ah, ah. Okay, again, we didn't pick it up. <laughs> this, this is just standard speedrun weird. Oh, I think it's more than that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, what is even happening? Okay, so now we're here. Okay, Agron Harnahum fight with everything so scrolled funny. Okay, he's fighting from the wrong side of the wall. Okay. Well, he's doing it very efficiently. You gotta love that repeated, not a single mistake. Always never get blue flame, or never get blue balls, whatever you want to call it. That's not what I meant to say. He's getting a perfect fight, that's my point. He's just doing it in the weirdest way I've ever seen. Okay. How, 
did he warp out instantly? Okay. Uh, if I had to rate a weirdness of this test from 1 to 10, where would I put it? I'd put it just under a boy in his blob. That run is even weirder. <laughs> okay, he canceled the animations by having Aga off screen. Ah, of course he did. That makes sense. <laughs> I did console verify a boy in his blob on the early, early days of my YouTube channel, and it is one of my very earliest YouTube videos uh, at Duango AC. So youtube.com slash duangoac. It's one of the very earliest videos. I can't necessarily recommend it. It was when I was still figuring out what I was doing. <clears throat> yeah, that that SMB3 run with Pooh was, was pretty melty. Oh, and we've glitched again. Oh, hey, this cave. How did he get... A t I should just stop asking these questions. That was epically perfect. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, now you've got me saying it. Well, M P Pooh was there too, um, but Mitch was the run was the one that was uh, really reacting. Uh, yeah, I'll redo a boy in his blob. All uh, right, now that's weird again. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those. And then a miracle occurs. Yeah, it's it's best not to just quite yeah, just don't question anything. <laughs> sprites are off again. When you say sprites are off again, what do you mean by that? Oh, of course we've killed Argarnaharnaharnaharm so we can get in here the normal way. Oh, he didn't save and quit. Wait, what's he doing now? Uh, okay. What did he do that for? Oh, that's not where I expected to come out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are we going to be back in, in... Okay. All right. Wait, now what? Uh, we're dungeon hopping again. Da, da, so many dungeons. <laughs> Wait, why the deliberate death? Maybe to get back in bounds? Okay. All right. Sure. Okay. That's the pendant drop we didn't see earlier. Okay. All right, I think I follow what happened. This is the the rest of what we saw earlier. Okay, now he's opening up. All right, all right. Things are starting to come together and make some sense. Well, I, I assume it was, was not possible to spawn it earlier based on whatever they had done. It's my best guess. Uh, an RTA run of this would take a lot longer. <laughs> you just can't do half of the crazy going on here. Well, they're not... So they are glitching a lot of things, but they're not duping some things. Okay, so we did see this fight conclude earlier as well. There, because there were two fights you saw where we picked up the item, but not the pendant, which confused the living daylight's enemy. Well, in this case, it's a crystal, of course. So the only thing that's not allowed is the... Um, her hair is normally that color? I don't remember. I can't, that looks like palette swapped, but I can't be certain. I don't remember her hair being quite that lime green. Um, oh wait, I'm not making much sense. Let me try this again. Well, not, not that this task makes any sense, but... <laughs> only some? <laughs> well, yeah. Her face looks green? Okay. We definitely saw... Oh, now how'd we end up here? What we definitely saw... Uh, 
those two fights where we picked up the items. But what room is this? Oh, we're here. Um. Okay. Right, we hit, we did finish this boss earlier. I remember seeing that boss finished. Okay. And we did we did throw sense out the window ages ago, <laughs> along with sanity. <laughs> It is it is going for a very high WTF per minute score. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see this with author commentary over it. I mean, me reacting is one thing, but I would love to get the actual authors to, to try to talk over this. Yeah, if you had a few hours, you could explain like, a lot of what's going on. Yeah, that's so... <laughs> Since insanity is gone. My sense of sanity is gone. I can tell you that much. So, for anybody watching this on YouTube, first of all, thank you for putting up with the technical glitches. This is a result of doing some things on my laptop. Whoa, weird. Oh, wait, we never did Zora. We gotta do that at some point. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not on home field. I'm traveling while I'm trying to do this. I am doing my very best to put one YouTube video up every week, and it just depends on what kind of content is available or what's out there. Uh, this one struck me as very worth doing. I just wanted to be able to demonstrate the craziness with this minimap present, and frankly, it is confusing, but the minimap does help. Uh, how long is this in total? It's 52 minutes and 52 seconds. Oh, of course he's going to go that way and somehow managed to fake flipper. Oh, what? Oh, hey, that was brilliant. <laughs> I have never made it to Zora like that. <laughs> okay. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> the normal method of speedrunning it does not look anything like that. 2D bomb hover. Yeah, well, yeah, bomb hover on multiple planes. Illy, he's not cheating. You should know better. Also, hi, Illy. Good to see you. Is he ever going to open that chest? I guess not, because he somehow managed to get the lantern. I'm not really sure how he managed it. Oh, that was cool. Um, would anyone be so kind as to tell me what my viewer count looks like right now? <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Uh, I mean, it's pretty late at night, so I'm not expecting it to be great. But... 77, not bad. I'll take that. Well, there's a lot of you watching, apparently. <laughs> and thank you very much for the high chat interactive. Wait, how did we get here so fast? Um, sure? I guess we still have to do that part normal. Oh, two for one. Okay, mm, there are so many things I would like to know about right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for heaven's sake. <laughs> I was expecting a bomb jump there, not whatever the heck the... All right. Well, <laughs> sure. Are we going to pick up the item here? I guess we, we have red now. So I guess we don't actually need that chest because we already have better armor. What? Where, where are we? Uh, oh, that was necessary to get back and bounce. Okay, all right, all right. I'm with it. So from here on out, this is a normal route. And you are indeed right, Illy. As of the date of this recording, there's five days. That was really cool. I mean, having gone through Ice Palace... Oh, uh, man. <laughs> oh, hey, that's a cool strat. I didn't even know you could do that. Well, that was about the most normal fight we've seen so far. Schrodinger's Link. We are both everywhere and nowhere. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, wow. It's 3.12 p.m. in China. So you would be one of the very few people who I've ever had tune in from China. Thank you very much for joining my stream. Um, yeah, you're, it's sick and your, your brain is melting. Oh, you're sick. Well, I guess you're sick and the run is sick. This run is pretty sick. Sorry, you're sick. <laughs> walls? Where are we going? We don't need walls. Um, I, but no, seriously, uh, thank you very much for tuning in from China. I don't even know how you do it, because last time I knew, Twitch was blocked there, so... <laughs> thank you for being here. Ah, yeah. Yeah. And, it, and as, 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 he, as to, Tosho, I don't know how to pronounce your name right, uh, says, It makes a lot more sense when you know that all the dungeons are laid out in a sort of quilt, and they're relatively easy to move between, relatively speaking when you're talking from the task perspective. Alright, so save and equip there. That makes sense. What do we have left to pick up? Let's see. Um, I, I'll, next time he goes into his inventory, I'll have to catch it. Let's see, he's, he's only he's definitely has two heart pieces left. Okay, that that's busted. Oh yeah, we haven't done water palace yet. All right. Oh, ah, that was too fast. I didn't see it. Most people are, are nerdy enough to want to watch a task on Twitch could find a way to get around the Great Firewall of China. Yeah, you're right. That that is true. But I'm not here to 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 cause trouble with firewalls. Oh, that was. Oh, okay, so he saved a whole step of having to go back and forth between light and dark world. All right. Ah, okay, thanks, Maldor. Ah, uh, well, that was a floating head, wasn't it? Okay, I kind of know where we're at. Oh, hook shot already. Wait. Uh... We did get the hookshot a long time ago. How did we do that? When did we get the hookshot? Oh, and we're fighting him now. All right. I, I, can, I can handle that. I mean, my brain can't comprehend what I just saw, but I can definitely recognize that he beat the boss. Yeah, the only expert we have said in this dungeon I have no idea what's going on. Yep, that sums it up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, I see. Yeah, I think we did a hookshot around the time we did Eastern, but I didn't... I somehow I missed the chest being opened. I'm going to have to watch this again, just because I think this requires more than one watch to even remotely have a chance to catch. <laughs> but next, we're going to corrupt room data to collect a bunch of stuff. All right, that could be fun. Thanks for the warning that that's about to happen. Kate, Berna, Red Boomerang, and some heart pieces. Okay. All without doing... Uh, what... That Burnicane is just so abusable. Wait, what did he just pick up out of that chest? I missed it. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. We have no idea what's going on. How did he... Do... All right. Okay. I think, I think I'm getting an idea here. He's reusing the same chest somehow. Uh... Wait, but why did he bother to... Oh, because he has to unflood the... Okay, what did he get now? Now he got a heart... I got a quarter heart piece. And... Okay. I don't know what he got there. Oh, yeah, he definitely unflooded it. I mean, clearly he's corrupting memory with the cane. Uh, I'm trying to keep up with what it is he's... Okay, there's a heart piece there. So I'm trying to keep up with what he's getting out of these chests. Okay. That's the last heart piece. 
Okay. Now we're back on the mountain. With full health. Oh, and there's the hookshot glitch. Okay, that I know about. I love how fast it makes you go. Normal route so far. I mean, normal in the sense of... Uh, wait, no, that's not normal. Okay, whoa. That was a lot of zipping. Oh yeah, um, wait, we don't need that. Oh, we do need that. Oh, wait. Um. Ah. Oh, yeah, right. I, I think the second time we opened it up, we got the big chest. What is he doing here? <laughs> Okay, so now we're fighting Agra Harna 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 Harm again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, this is disgusting how precise this is. Um. Okay. Sure. I'm certainly tripping in one sense of the term. Wait, the cane again? Alright, well now we're fighting Ganon, and he got several hits in before the dialogue text even ran. <laughs> what? You can do that? Now what's interesting here is that... Man, that is disgusting. What's interesting here is he's not actually hitting him as often as I would if I were running this... And I don't really know why. I guess he's taken as much damage as he could in that phase. Whoa, that is a risky maneuver there, Link. Okay. Alright. Ho! Oh. Uh, sure, just finish him off in one cycle. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enough damage to do phase change. All right. And I think that's last input. Okay. Um. So that was The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, full inventory in 52 minutes and 52 seconds. <laughs> um, we are going to watch the rest of the credits. Well... Anyone in chat that can explain some of the crazy that just happened has every opportunity to do so. Dear Lord, what was that? <laughs> yeah, um, good luck processing what you just witnessed, because I'm barely keeping up. This task is so nuts. <laughs> so again, credit to FMP... And Yakuza, if that's the right name to pronounce it, uh, how you pronounce it. Uh, I am going to do a redraw now because I promised I would. So for anyone new, uh, my chat has... Oh, hey, we got the Triforce together. Um, Re-enable my preview so I can see it. Uh, of course, I'm all glitchy. Of course, I'm glitchy right now. You can see my camera's not too happy. Okay, let me see this redraw. Okay, here goes. I don't actually know who that first character was. Now that image is really awesome. Somebody's been drawing some really fun stuff. Oh, Undertale. Nice. We'll keep that up, guys. So we are going to watch all the credits, because that's just what we're going to do here. <laughs> okay. So the camera, the cane of Samaria can load room data using only using the door in weird ways. Yeah, definitely weird ways. Um, loading room data changes what is in the chests as well as where the doorways lead. Okay. It also creates holes in lots of areas demonstrated by the red blotches on the minimap to the right. Got it. Those are holes. Okay. Uh, that was a Mooglin. Okay. Thanks for clarifying. How did the tasks respawn heart pieces all over and over again? Now, that's not heart duplication. It was just tricking which chest was being opened, unless I'm mistaken. 
Marglin. Marglin? Marglin. How about that? Marglin? I don't think very many people on YouTube are going to watch this far, but uh, do use this opportunity to uh, to comment on any other rules, please, because there are so many glitches going on here. Also, let me pull up the submission notes while I still have a chance. Not that they make much sense. Um, okay, so they're, they're in the submission notes, and again, I'm going to drop this in here. The submission notes are at this location. Oops, that's one Timothy. There we go. The submission notes are at testvideos.org slash 6154S. You can go see some of the notes that are just, that describe this craziness there. Uh, and they do really help to understand what's happening in this task. It's just so crazy. Yeah, and I'm very interesting to, uh, and interested in well as well as how it manages to interact with room data that way. It just seems very funny. So I'm going to read uh, a couple of things. Uh, uh, Yusuro's comments are, I'm a guy want to, who wanted to see the new glitch tasks since Crazy Glitch is found. Finally, I'm glad for we can see the glitched category run. This category run is most crazy since all glitches allowed. Maybe you can see the new spectacle. I hope so. This project was really beautiful to me. I learned many things from guys. FMP gives me the opportunity which working together. Thank you so much for your kindness. And thank and thanks guys for supporting our working. I hope you enjoy the new, new task. And then the special thanks is my co-author, Yahuza3, gets the first shout out. Many of his strategies in his all bosses, no EG tasks, were optimal for this category as well. He's an extremely talented taster for this game. No kidding. I'm going to let you guys read the rest of the submission notes when you get a chance since we are coming to the end of this game. Um, I would like to thank everyone for watching, and we're going to stop this here. Have a great day.